Get up. Oh. Oh. I set a trap, and you sprang it gloriously. Now let's get this party started. What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat, and welcome to the modern ninja. Now, there are so many different versions of Batman out there, from the classic Adam West to the always loved Kevin Conroy in the animated cartoons. And each one of these Batman show different versions of the fighting style of the famous Cape Crusader himself. And so today, I'm going to take one of my favorite incarnations of Batman, the Batman from the Arkham games, and go into and break down his fighting style that he shows in the Arkham games specifically. And in turn, teach you how you could fight like Batman from Arkham Asylum and the rest of the Arkham series. Just so I don't get yelled at in the comments, this is your spoiler warning. But Batman, the last Batman Arkham game came out like five years ago, over five years ago. So I feel like it's been long enough. Batman is one of the greatest martial artists in all of DC Comics. He is considered to be trained in nearly every form of martial arts and combat in existence. Estimated to be around 127 total styles. Batman even changes his primary style of fighting to become more unpredictable and even more effective in combat. Oftentimes rotating between a mixture of Judo, Ninjutsu, Muay Thai, Taekwondo, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Boxing, Shotokan Karate, and Kung Fu. All styles that Bruce has fully mastered. However, I want to focus, like I said earlier, on how he implements his combat experience in the Arkham game specifically. But if you guys want me to focus on any other versions of Batman, let me know down in the comment section. Now in the game, stealth combat is a staple of the entire Arkham series. What was that? Huh. Guess it was nothing. So a priority will be targeting opponents that are more of a threat due to holding guns or shields or stun batons. Batman implements weapon disarms and quick arm or leg breaks to put those higher value targets down as quick as possible. Because you know, getting shot in the face would suck. Honestly though, why doesn't he just like completely cover that? Why does he why is that still there? It's like a target for any guns. I don't get it. However, this tendency leads me to believe that styles such as Muay Thai and Shotokan Karate are some of the main styles he uses most often. But not everything can be done from the shadows. Sometimes you have to deliver justice the old-fashioned way. Put em up, put em up. When it comes down to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat, the counter is one of the most used actions in the game. For those of you that don't know, countering is when you react to someone else's attack by blocking or avoiding, then retaliating with your own attack immediately after. Utilizing the fact that their target is most likely open due to leaving themselves open when throwing a punch or something like that. Batman primarily uses forearm blocks as opposed to dodging incoming strikes while relying heavily on punches and elbows after successfully blocking an attack from any opponent or thug. Unlike many of the animated versions of Batman, the Arkham version doesn't use kicks quite as often in comparison. Now he does occasionally use his kick to gain distance on an opponent, but more than not, he only uses his kicks to knock out people who are already on the ground or when landing on a target from gliding in the sky. Because kicking people while they're down is how Batman does it. Batman also seems to have some training in Wing Chun, judging by the way he beats down his opponents after stunning them with his cape. Now, of course, he wouldn't be the great Cape Crusader without having a bunch of gadgets at his disposal. You mean the bat x-ray deflector in my utility belt? And I'm not going to cover all of them, but I will mention batterings because those skills directly relate to martial arts training that he may have had. The way Batman implements his batterings into his combat style is extremely reminiscent of ninjutsu. Using them to stun and slow down targets while fighting a group of thugs is the same way ninjas in feudal Japan were believed to use throwing stars and knives. He also shows the ability to put down enemies when focusing multiple batterings on a single opponent. 
However, this seems to happen less often in most gameplay run-throughs. Also, um, he's definitely probably killing them if he hits people with like three batterings and that takes them down. It's probably because he hit them in the face or, you know, they're bleeding out. So, uh, yeah. So in conclusion, Batman seems to rely on Shotokan Karate and Muay Thai when using his stealth and quick takedowns, mixing boxing and kickboxing to make up the majority of his stand-up work. And he also seems to sprinkle in Judo for many of his throws and takedowns and Wing Chun for when he stuns his opponents. And lastly, Ninjutsu, allowing him to take out and delay enemies from a range with his batterings. Now if you guys like this video, check out one of my other Fight Like videos. I broke down Christian Bale's Batman and The Mandalorian from Star Wars. So if either of those interests you, definitely check those out. I'll leave, uh, you know, cards at the end of the video for you guys. And also, of course, if you want to see more of my videos, don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoy it, it's free. And chop that bell button because you never want to miss when I post next. But until next time, thank you guys so much for watching because my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.